Before we get started in the following video, I just want to give a huge shout out to Pluralsec for lending me the X Grand. Thank you. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back to another X Series Dead Frontier video. Now guys, first things first. Today we're reviewing the X Goran, okay? So ignore the Silver Slugster and the Longshot PP10. We're gonna focus only on this big guy right here, okay? So my stats for this uh, weapon pretty much are the same as the Expo, okay? The Expo? No, no, no. The crossbow. I said Expo. Jesus. 123 reloading, 84 critical hit, 123 accuracy, okay? This is the stats that I'll be using from now on for every single weapon I use, only because I realize reloading is a bunch of fun. But to be honest, if you really want to use this weapon, I recommend a maxed out critical hit and maybe a slow reloading just because, well, first of all, the x has a big clip and you want to hit as many critical hits as you can with this weapon, okay? 84 critical hit is not enough. Usually you want 80 plus critical or just basically the minimum 80 critical hit when you have a very high critical chance. But when it comes to like a high critical weapon, you want more than 110 plus. If I remember correctly, do not quote me on that. So like I said, it is a 7.5mm rifle ammo weapon, uh, 24 round capacity, slow reload speed, very slow firing speed, very high accuracy, and high critical chance, and you need 120 rifle skill required. Although it is a very good weapon, you know, 7 point found down quite a bit, I do not know why at the day of recording this video, which is November 6, 2020, but as you can see, ammo really isn't that bad, okay? Uh, again, honestly, I'm quite shocked, <laughs> but yeah, uh, ammo really isn't that bad, you can easily buy 647 bullets for 10k, but I'm guessing the reason being is because, well, new weapons are being released almost every few months, and well, when a new weapon comes out, depending on that, what kind of ammo that weapon uses, that'll surge, and the other ones will go down, but yeah, like I said, uh, very good weapon, so let's go out there, fight some bosses, and let's see how it performs, but first things first, like, holy crap, I forgot we still have the Halloween event, so things are still popping off right now, dang! Uh, but yeah, let's just focus on the video on hand. So as you can tell guys, I have 37% damage boots So what I want you to do real quick is just get a calculator subtract this 37% damage and Basically, that's the normal amount of damage this weapon does on a high critical chance or sorry on a critical chance So with 37% damage boots, let's see how many shots it takes to kill a long arm uh, Well two non-critical which isn't bad actually that's not bad at all Yeah, so two non-criticals. I'm sure trying to get a critical hit man. Jesus this is really okay. Okay, okay, one critical for rumblers. Yeah, one critical for rumblers. And four non-critical for leapers, which isn't terrible. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, if it's a critical, it's gonna be a lot, one shot for a long arm. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So, whoa, one shot for leapers. That's not bad at all. So one shot's a leaper. That is not terrible. So pretty much, if it one shots a leaper, I'm just gonna get you the last and final verdict of this weapon. That it it, pre it pretty much one shots every single effect that if it's a critical hit. But like I said, this is why you want to sacrifice reloading for critical hit because well, this is the well, this is pretty much the the consequence of having low critical hit. What you can also do is pretty much lower your accuracy because seeing this thing has a very high accuracy ch accuracy chance. But what you can also do is lower your accuracy and just pretty much get it to 90 and focus that on critical hit. That's why you have a fast reload speed and you have a pretty high critical chance. So you can probably do that because, well, as you can tell, this weapon already has very high accuracy. So again, it's up to you what you want to do, okay? It's your stats. Do what you want. If you want that nice, you know, half a second reload, it's up to you. But for me, I really don't care. Seeing that the weapon does kill, it's not terrible. I'm not gonna lie. It, it really isn't. Anyway, let's get to a boss fight real quick. So look, always, guys, we're in a Halloween event, so things are just not gonna be the same right now. We have werewolves fight trying to, like, bite your heads off. But yeah, let's see what we can do with this guy. Alright, so I need some werewolves. So let me attract them first things first with a shotgun. This should be enough. Oh god, this time it's Slenderman. Oh, well, damn. Uh, this should be pretty interesting. Is it one or two? Uh, yeah, I forgot we have Slenderman now. Jesus. Alright. Come on, Slendy. You know you want some. Come on. Where is he? Where'd he go? Alright, let's just focus on the ground. Okay, there he is. I see him. He's a very weird, interesting fella. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Alright. So, again, just using the X-Grand in terms of, like, a, a boss fight, how well it can fend you off. Fend off the infected while you fight this thing and... Again, if it doesn't hit a critical, it's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. It's still gonna finish him off. He's already, he's already flinching. Jeez. Hey, man, you might want to get some extra fat on you, man. This is enough to make you flinch. Jeez. But yes, uh, 24 clip in the round, in the magazine, I mean. So it's gonna, you know, you're gonna be firing for a while. Oh, come on, Slendy. Are you just slow? Oh, whoa, God. <laughs> Four appear out of nowhere. <laughs> so, 
I don't know if there'll be- Oh my god, I almost fell off the freaking map. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, as you can tell, the, uh, every critical hit that I hit on the Slendies is just a lot of- it's just, It just makes them flinch. So, is this really worth the money, though? That's up to you guys. I mean, like I said, every few months we're going to be having new snipers, pistols, and whatnot. So, again, with almost every weapon, sadly, it eventually decreases in value because, again, the next best thing comes out. I, I'm still waiting for an electric weapon admin, or a, not a flamethrower. Flamethrower just looks kind of ridiculous because of the lore in Death Frontier, which is the flaming zombie. So, imagine, you have a, a Slenderman in front of you, you burn it, and now becomes a flaming slender. That'd be, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> But yeah, with every weapon, if you know how to maneuver, you'll be okay. I mean, especially with a sniper. Jeez, how am I missing shots, dude? Okay, buddy. You might want to slow down there, bucko. The only thing you have to be careful about with this weapon is if you are fighting a boss, make sure you don't, you know, kill the green rumblers or the big bloats, whatever, around you because then they'll cause, you know, <laughs> explosion damage around you. So careful on that. Remember, this thing pretty much one-shots if it's critical. But yeah, the biggest recommendation I can give you guys is level up your critical hit. Level, 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 level up. Because this thing, as you can tell, is barely hitting critical hits. But again, because of that 118 damage I hit, even though on a critical, it isn't really that bad. But when it doesn't hit a critical, you kind of feel it. And you want every shot you matter because, well, it's a sniper. And imagine in real life, you, mi you miss with a sniper. And it's just, it's just, it just feels like crap. <laughs> man, these guys are slow, man. The aggro always gets ahead of them. Like, yo, come on, guys. Over here. Come on, buddy. It won't take long before you die. <laughs> but Jesus, man. Imagine getting shot by this thing in real life. This thing is making a freaking slendy guy flinch. Psh, it must be crazy. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, and there we go. Already lost the arm. Bam, dude. I kind of feel bad, man. <laughs> Poor guy barely has any meat in his bones. And he just blasts his arm off. <laughs> but it shouldn't take long to kill these guys. I mean, I barely... I had like 1,700 bullets. I'm, I'm, I wasted 500 already, I think. I'm not too sure. I haven't been looking at the bullet count. But, yeah, I mean, it's really cheap to kill these guys with this weapon. I mean, the, the thing is, when people buy these weapons, it's because not only does it doesn't take too long to kind of kill something, but it, it kind of saves you money in terms of buying boxes and boxes of bullets. That's why people don't really buy Vulcans anymore because you spend all this money on 12.7 and it takes too long and too many uh, bullets to kill something and it's just a waste of money. That's why people want to buy strong weapons so they can at least, you know, not only have fun killing things, but it'll get it'll, it'll get the job done and like compared to something that's weaker, it'll take like seconds so before they drop the infected that is. So again, this weapon, it's not bad. It's just, uh, man, I wish I had a higher critical chance, man. That would be amazing. Come on, buddy. You're almost down. You, you, I can just go down, man. Come on. Dang it, dude. Those non if, this, if this weapon was hitting critical hits every shot, dude. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, see, look. He already died from a couple of critical hits. Not even not, not even all of them were critical hits. And there you go. I'm just going to run around because if you stand still and you go back, the aggro's going to get you. So I'm going to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And two minutes later, and I'm almost there to my destination. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish we had a speed boost. Uh, not the one I currently have, but like a 20% speed boost. That would be fun. I would just be ripping it all over the freaking inner city. Destroying things left and right. I'm unable to be caught. <laughs> okay, and the first is right here. Let's see what we get. Oh, wow. He's disappearing while I'm looting. Uh, trick or treat? Yep, trick or treat. Wow. They just keep disappearing. <laughs> Another trick or treat, of course. And let me get my last trick or treat. And boom! We got nice trick or treats. Let me see what this is. Man, I get a Vulcan? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let's go back to the outpost and see what you guys pretty much think about it. Let's go. Oh, jeez, I nearly forgot we got to use it in PvP. Um, is there anybody in PvP? Hello? Hello? Anybody in the arena? Anybody? Anybody here? Or is everybody just not caring about PvP anymore? Yikes, yeah. PvP looks more dead. PvP is more dead than MySpace at the moment, because dang, yo, ain't nobody here, man. Jeez. Anyway, let's continue with the video. All right, let's just find out how much is the next Koran at the moment. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 35 mil! Yikes, that's a... Uh, I, mean, I guess? I mean, <laughs> jeez. But yeah, guys, in conclusion, is the weapon worth 35 mil? In my opinion, it's kind of hard to say, really, because you have a weapon that's a, like the long shot PP-10 that has very high critical chance, so you don't have to sacrifice, you know, accuracy and reloading and have a very crazy weapon. And then you have something called the crossbow, which has infinite ammo, and it's pretty much a great PvE weapon. But that's a whole different video, and that's why I have all three of these. And I'll hopefully be making a video on it tomorrow, because I've been planning to do it. But if it does come to that, it'll be a great video to work on. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for being so short. It's, it's just because we're still in the event. I couldn't really kill many bosses other than the Slender Man. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to send you out, and I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.